Having a data portfolio is essential, but what's inside is even more essential. Have great projects? Check. But are you presenting them well enough? Today, we're going to walk through how you can create a first-class write-up for your portfolio project. Let's dive in. So why is this important? Well, it's not enough to have any old project in your portfolio. Of course, the project has to be good, but what do you do when you have a good project that isn't presented well? There's a good chance they're being overlooked. I see this all the time. Project write-ups that are either way too long or focusing on the wrong information. Content is good, but the presentation isn't. And sometimes presentation is everything. There's nothing worse than bombing a presentation that you worked really hard in, and this is the same thing. So let's look at my three-step framework for an awesome project write-up. Number one, questions. Number two, process. And number three, findings. Let's start with questions. What questions are you trying to answer? This is almost like the thesis of your project. A set of questions to answer will give your project direction, and it'll also provide you a foundation to keep coming back to throughout the project. I recommend writing down at least five to 10 questions about the data set you're using before even starting on the project. Put yourself in the shoes of someone with a vested interest in the data. Let's say you're using an Airbnb data set. Pretend that you're an investor who wants to know the best time of the year to rent out an Airbnb, as well as the best locations for them to purchase property. Someone like that has a vested interest in the data set, and so they're gonna be asking a lot of questions about how they can utilize the data to serve them best. With this frame of reference in mind, write down those five to 10 questions about your data set. Now you may be saying to yourself, 10 is way too many. But here's the thing, you don't have to include all answers in your final result, only those that are most relevant and cohesive. Right now, we just want lots of ammo to work with and we can work on editing later. Once you have those, you're ready to then begin your analysis by answering those questions. In your write-up, state these questions at the very beginning so your audience knows where you're headed and knows what to expect from your analysis. This is the perfect way to kick off your project and your write-up. Now let's talk about process. This is the fun part. How did you end up with the final result? For the project itself, this is where you perform your actual analysis. Set out to answer all the questions that you started with. Once you have those answers, edit down to three or so observations that you can stick with and choose the findings that are most relevant and have the best narrative, the most cohesive narrative. For your write-up, walk people through your analysis of those chosen observations. What SQL queries did you use? What charts did you create? Why did you go about it the way that you did? And you'll wanna include screenshots here too. Show people your code, show people your charts. And as a general rule of thumb, avoid long bodies of text. Too much writing without any breaks will ultimately lose your audience and put them to sleep. Keep sentences short and few and utilize images to break it all up. This helps maintain readability for the project write-up as a whole. And once your main body of work is finished, you can work on stating your findings. This is the conclusion of your project write-up. While you may have already stated your findings as you walked people through your project write-up, we're gonna explicitly state them here again. Simply list them out and add a bit of detail. For the project itself, I recommend utilizing callouts and subheadings. This will help you spell out your findings clearly. You don't wanna make the reader work too hard. Just call it out for them, keep it simple. This also helps us adhere to the five second rule. The less time it takes our reader to discover the results, the better. Call outs help with this. All in all, this serves as a great wrap up for your write up and helps bring us back to the original thesis that we started with. If you follow this framework, I guarantee that not only will you have a project that makes sense, you'll have a write up that's simple and easy to understand. Don't rely on just having a GitHub. Here's how you can create a beautiful landing page style portfolio to host your projects in a professional way. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.